So that being said, for you to have a success story every single time, whether you're building residential or commercial, there are four things you absolutely have to do and make them work in harmony to, to come away with a success story. Number one, you have to start with a good superior thermal envelope. They're talking about ICFs here. In our opinion, ICFs are the Ferrari of the wall systems. Although walls, from an engineering standpoint, only represent 18% of that structure, they can represent as much as 70% of the leakage in a structure. So they're incredibly important. And the industry decided a long time ago that foam is the thermal insulation that you want to use. You'll never see a fiberglass igloo cooler. You're never going to see a fiberglass reefer running down the road with uh, frozen food in it. You're never going to see anything that has to depend on constant temperatures insulated with anything other than foam insulations. So number one, you have to start with a good thermal envelope. Obviously, all of you have probably been in a house on a cold, blustery winter day, and you go to flip on that exterior light switch or plug in your vacuum on that exterior wall, and you can feel that cold air coming through the wall. There are three forms of heat transfer, guys. There's conduction, convection, and radiation. And R values, basically, when you go into the laboratory and you test for R values, are a conduction test. They don't take into account convection and radiation. So from a standpoint of engineering these to see what's going to work, we don't care what R value it says it is because it means nothing to us. Same thing about SEER and AFUE ratings of mechanical systems. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. So anyway, with R values, if you've gone into a house and you flip on that switch and you feel that cold air, even if you had a wall 100 feet thick with an R100 fiberglass in there, if you can feel the air coming through it, you have zero R factor in that wall. And I think everyone here has had a structure where you've flipped on that switch on a cold day and you feel the cold air coming through the wall.